everybody. It's Patty, the tinkerer's wife here. Let me check the camera. It's running. <laughs> I had to do that. I tried uh, just a second ago. I had a false start. So thank you for joining me today. Thank you those who are new. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I'm not at my house today. How about that? Nope, I'm at the park. Now this park is one that has a long history. Oh, excuse me. Hello, way up there. Can you see it? We have a helicopter overhead. I don't know, he's moving kind of slow, so could be something going on in the neighborhood. Would be my guess, maybe he's just looking at the fall color. We have those. We have police, we have fire, we have ambulances going by our house, and we have helicopters. Yeah, a lot of times the news channels will um, get involved and if they're looking for somebody or they want to get the story, you know how that goes. Well, anyway, um, today I'm just walking around here, going to show you a few things. Um, before I get out of here, I want to show you this. The little lawn daisies. I think these are about the sweetest thing. Look at those. Aren't those cute? This has been a really good year for, um, I want to say mushrooms. That's what I wanted to say. Mushrooms. It's been an excellent year for mushrooms. We have mushrooms growing everywhere. Whew, case in point. There you go. Cute little guys, huh? Now, I'm not, I'm not a mushroom expert. I do know what chanterelles are, and I do love them. And I would love to be able to have my son give me some, but I don't know. They probably ate all of them that they found while they were up hunting. That's what happens when you live an hour away. <laughs> oh, well. I uh, have a friend or a guy that I know, an acquaintance, who's a farmer locally here. And I will be going down to their store later today because... Dominic always has chanterelles for sale in the shop and I'll be getting some local produce from them. Um, they grow sus sustainably, not organically because all the paperwork, but they grow sustainably. They also save their own seeds, that kind of thing, and they are a long time family in this community. So I like shopping with people like that. So. Anyway, I want to show you these trees and quit blabbing here. Look at all the color the trees shared with the ground. Isn't that cool? I just love looking at leaves. I found a leaf that I posted a picture of. I believe it was on my Facebook. I'll have to put it, I'll have to find it and post it to my Instagram. Um, it was, it was half Oh, this is one of the things I love doing. Looking up in the branches. Any of the rest of you like looking up in the branches? It's pretty dark under these trees. Anyway, um, I found a leaf that had like three colors on it. And I just found that fascinating. I don't know um, why it did that. It didn't really make any sense to me, but there's really distinct lines of demarcation in it so that was pretty cool we've got the little probably i'm not sure what that is across the street i'm not a not a tree geek i know perennials and herbs a lot i do know these are norway maples here and then we have um the uh plantness acerifolia <laughs> london plane trees how do you like that i can remember the latin names <laughs> from back, oh, what was it, uh, 15 years ago when I worked in the industry. I guess I just will always be that person who speaks botanic Latin. Anyway, um, Nike put in this, um, what do I want to say, the, the court here, and it gets used a lot. We see a lot of multiracial games going on here, which is pretty cool because there are like, in the little grade school, which is back over here, 
there are probably close to 50 different languages spoken in that in that school. That's how diverse this neighborhood is. Um, there's a lot of really great people live here in this neighborhood, but it has changed so dramatically. And it's changed dramatically in the city, too. Look at that. I just love this. This is so beautiful out here. I wish y'all could be walking with me, like, right by my side. And we could be pointing out things and saying, oh, isn't that cool? Yeah. And then there's me, and I'm like, oh, look at this rock. Look at this lichen and the algae on the rock. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah, I'm a nerd. And proud of it, too. I'm proud of it, too. So I was thinking about these uh, leaves that are falling. And this is kind of what my life is doing right now. I am giving up things. Um, the fact that my husband's gone um, leaves me to face some changes that I didn't think were going to happen quite this fast, but they are. And uh, that's okay. It's really okay. You know, I have invested in this neighborhood. I've invested in this park being on the, a planning committee that was involved uh, with what will be the master plan for this park. I don't know if they'll insti institute that plan or redo it, but that's what it'll be. Um, my husband and I used to bring our dogs to this park, and we had Buddy when I married him. He had Buddy, and Buddy was a standard poodle. Uh, just an elegant little dog with, uh, <laughs> he was a stinker. If you played fetch with him, which he'd play fetch, but he'd always drop the ball or whatever you were throwing just three feet from, from, um, from you so you couldn't pick it up. This is what fall's all about, isn't it? Oh man, I love it. I so love fall. The smell of the leaves out here are just, ah, oh, it's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Well, anyway, um, giving up what used to be my old life, the things, say the leaves of my old life, the things that made up my old life, letting go of those, and going through the transition pro process into what will be next. And for me, that will more than likely be moving and selling the house. That's the plan. I don't know when or how that will all happen. I don't know if it will be a difficult transition red tape wise or if it will be um, easy. But all I know is that transitions, even though they're hard at times, are good things to go through. They help us to discover who we are, maybe even bring us to a place where we'll find what we were always meant to do, which I, there's part of me that kind of wants that because I've got, I have this desire and drive to do things. And I've always had it uh, as an adult. I've always loved being productive and I love people. And I don't know what God has for me. And I'm also really a little hyper creative at times. I can do anything I put my hand to, maybe not with great skill, but I can do it in a fashion that will communicate what I need to communicate and all of that. So um, we'll see what happens. But I thought I'd just come out here and take a walk with you since I don't have I don't have anybody else to talk to. I'll talk to you. You guys have been pretty good company lately, and I just thank you for that. Um, it is definitely fall here. It is beautiful. Even with the overcast, it is nice and cool, though it's been cool. Even through September, it was cool. I'm happy to see this weather come to have uh, winter come and 
um, everything kind of slow down a little bit from the busyness of summer. I know we'll have the holidays to get through. Um, and we'll see how that goes. I'm having Thanksgiving with my son and his wife, and I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll walk through it. We'll drop the leaves we need to drop. And like the crows that like to visit this place, we'll take flight onto what God has next. So are you having a time of transition in your life? Are you able to look at it um, in more than just loss or in the chaos, getting lost in the chaos? Is it, is it hard for you? One thing that I used to, I learned working in a, well, more than one job where people's lives, the service they were receiving was changing is that, I, I got so I said this, well change, change isn't bad, it's just different. Life, life changes aren't bad, they're just different. And I think if we can look at it that way and not look so much at what we lost, but instead of look at the possibilities. Um, you know, it's kind of like, I think of, I, I think of, of um, in the Old Testament, where Abraham and Sarah were called out and began traveling and, and um, you know, they, they kept going. Certain ones would, would stay back. Lot's father, I think, was one of them who stayed, who got comfortable and stayed where he was. And Lot kept moving, and Lot's wife wanted to hold on to what was, what was back, the city that was behind her that was being destroyed, and she turned into a pillar of salt. And I mentioned this once before, I didn't want to be that pillar of salt. I don't want to be Lot's wife. <laughs> don't be Lot's wife. And don't be Lot's dad. But go for it. Go for what is next and what God wants to bless you with. That's what I'm looking at. That is where my hope is because I know God has things still for me to do. It doesn't matter how old you are, how broken you are, how broke you are, um, how smart you are, how beautiful you are, how ugly you are. Doesn't None of that stuff matters. It's that God can use you. He can bring up through you things you just couldn't imagine. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> uh, I know he's invested in me a lot of things. He's invested in me more than I even realize. He has given me more wisdom and insight and compassion. In the years I've spent here, and it's nearing time, excuse me, for me to pull up root and go where he wants to plant me next. I'm glad for that. <laughs> Bittersweet as it is. Yes, life is changing. My life is changing. Your life is changing. That's what happens to us all. We may live in the same house, maybe our mom and dad lived in, raised our own kids in it, but our kids are gonna grow up and they're gonna leave. They're gonna find their way or maybe they'll take the house when you're done with it, when you have to go live someplace more simply, or maybe they'll take care of you. I love that concept, families taking care of their elders. There's a great, um, I think there's a great blessing in doing that after caring for an elderly friend. My mom and dad both passed away suddenly. I never had the opportunity to take care of them. This is the London plane tree I was talking about. I love the exfoliating bark and all the colors. Oh, that almost looks like a heart. See that? Oh, how sweet is that? I'll have to take a picture of that. Anyhow, Thank you so much for spending time with me. Thank you for um, visiting the channel. 
Uh, those of you who are new, please subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Um, there will be more things coming. You'll get to follow me into what is going to be coming next. Uh, following me through the transition. Um, I'll be doing, I'm planning on doing some art things. I don't know what yet. I keep saying that. But uh, life's been a little chaotic in my house and I really haven't had a good place to do art. So I'm trying to clear that out so I can have something to focus on besides taking care of the estate and all of that. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, also looking at the garden in winter. Maybe do some twig ID things. That'd be kind of fun. There's a couple trees here that I really like the twigs on in winter. So anyhow, thanks for joining me today. Remember to like the video before you leave. Um, that helps to support the channel and I really appreciate that. But y'all, I want to say just have a lovely week. God bless you. And this is Patty, the Tinkerer's Wife, signing off. Thank <laughs> you.